now. They're just trying to make sure that LG don't have the extremity controls, but look at Tig. Yeah, and he got past the util that was set up. If he gets the timing right, oh. this is going to be huge. Slowly. Oh my. But surely creeping his way forward, Potter, I think he's going to get it. He's going to spot at least one. <laughs> Lands the shots, gets the kill on this dirty lurk. Oh. He's got a couple of shots and another one as well, but Def looking to get the spike down. He's going to do just that. And just surviving here for Tig is the name of the game. A proto does get taken out. That's huge for BCJ. That at least gives them some breathing room in this post plan. Tig, he's going to double back, going back Whoa. through Garage and Dazzle. The burst classic coming through. By continuing to take away as Dre dashes forward. He's already gotten one onto Pure. Oh, oh but Dre gets two. Tix oh. gets another one as well. And they get the defuse. An excellent start for the boys on the defense. Dazzle can just freely farm yeah. all those orbs and have those jellies available. Ooh, Definitely. Death. He definitely caught a whip. Oh, oh Tig! Crispy shots early on. BCJ looking to trade him out of end. Just fallen. Comrade, no, he's not going to get to do it either. LG. Seeing a bird. I don't know if he has any left at this point. Aaron, he's got to get both these kills. Does get traded out. And Pure, he's good for it. Oh, Pure. Pure oh. gets two. Ripping the round right back. It looked like it was disaster for XF. But they're right back in this thing. Moose with the shock dart. Lands a little bit. Uh, on to pure tags him up just Tig. a tad, but Tig hits the timing just Play right. Three for Tig, a 1v1. Moose. Moose, oh, Moose gets oh, oh, oh. clotheslined by Zekin as he swings. Krevis, who's calculated, does seem like it was. You are divided. Oh, here comes the hit. Second cosmic divide, the flash, the gravity well back behind Spike, but Tig is still left untouched. He's good for one, now down to oh. 20 HP. Does a little bit of fancy footwork to stay alive. Tig, Tig. another Tig, good for three. Yeah, as there's just one left on the side of Xet, he's the Tiger. Xet looking to push the matter towards B. They have a blade storm. They're going to have to deal with a ton of util, and you've already talked about yeah. Tig as an anchor. Now let's see what a Proto can do. He's only going to get one. A parting oh. hit for his troubles as he looks for more, but oh, Tig has shown up. Tig has shown up, still dancing through that Uto, looking to get some more. The Seekers are going to be invested by Dazzle as well, as the Spike has made its way onto the site, but there's nobody around it. They're going to have to get past all of Luminosity's defenses to make this play work out. Ten seconds left in the round. They're just going to have to brute force their way through. One, One kill remaining. gets traded. It's just down to Zek, and the young buck with four seconds left, he's not going to have time to make it happen here. Yeah, just tuck and tail and backing away here. Beautiful, beautiful hold, and it's, of course, Tig. I'm waiting for something. The Hunter Series coming out from oh. BCJ. Oh. And lands the shots onto a proto. A great time. Moose already kind of transitioning oh. back, and that's huge. The spike is down. down. The rotation. The killjoy allows them to get on the site and allows them to get the spike down. Now the remaining members of Luminosity are showing up. Once again, color me shocked. Tig is on a flank. And you can tell. Asher Diff. Yep. Def. Oh, Def, Def. Oh, oh, oh. Too easy. Too easy. Doesn't look tight. Tick cleans him up. As, as Astra says, a bit too easy. As Dazzle gets the second one as well. They're just dropping like flies. Once again, all down to Zekin. It feels like we've seen this movie before. The outcome has been the same every time. LG, get another one. Damn, LG right now. It just seems like they killed this kill and They've got to get her clean at this moment. But Moose, oh, good for a oh. double. Almost a triple. So much damage coming through. And that's Garage just closed off. There's just no way in right now. Xset have not found success on any site right now. They pile up something different wow. even with Tig. On oh. This is such a tricky spot here, Graffiti. It's gonna be down to Tig to be able to react off that, and I say that, but Proto just handles it all by himself. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> Potter, it didn't, it didn't matter. You expect them to win that round. And it's just going from bad to worse, Potter. The wheels are fully off the bus. The 3k for Dazzle. Death has nothing but a Spectre. Make that 4 a flip. At least for now. You've got a retake attempt coming in from both sides. It's going to be very difficult for them to weather. And then if you've got Dazzle with the op doing things like that, it just goes from bad to worse. A Proto's going to get one as well. But Purest Blades, no. No more magic. A Proto cleans him up. But maybe off of BCJ's positioning, maybe they can make something happen. There's a second shock dart that's being invented. No, Proto drops as well. Or excuse me, BCJ drops as well. Gave him everything he needed to know. Spike is down and right off the bat, we're in a post plant. Dashes away, Dre landing his shots onto BCJ, cleaning him up. Spike continuing to tick away. You don't have any any control on the opposite sides as well. You've got shock darts on to Zekin. Gonna clean things up. You also have a Proto who's still playing back in window. I just don't know that Xet have a way oh. to really get into this. Wait, oh. what? Def? Nah, there was a mo- Absurd. Sure, that's huge. Be good for the second. He does get traded out. Your boy Dre with a nice little crouch. Two players back at the site here though, Doug. 
You had the gravity well from depth to delay while the rest of the members from XF show up, but it's just oh, down to two. That dark. Make that one, and they, they just can't. They, <laughs> Potter, they can't do any. You're right, LG. This is looking a little too easy. Next set have just kind of been on the back foot. They have something oh. to work with as far as weaponry goes, yeah. but they don't have their caller for the rest of the round. <sighs> The ADS Bulldog, it is strong, but it deceives death at that moment. And your boy Dre, he's not going to slow down. The right click does miss. Pure is rewarded with that. But look at Cypher, he's already up into the site. A Proto and Tig, they've shown up. A Proto trying to blast through. Zekin's going to get cleaned up. Just two members remain on the side of XF to keep this map alive. <laughs> make, that, make that one as it's just on to BCJ. The spike is going to get planted. And... Dependent, going by the cheers that I'm hearing, it does seem <laughs> like... Like trying to get it down, backside. side. Proto's gonna drop his what the hands of Pure as Dazzle gets the spike down. Fantastic stuff from Pure to make sure he finds the rat, the lurker, so that this retake can go in full swing, full motion, and Tig, he's got the frenzy. It's such a powerful spot, he's good for one, and look at your boy, Dre. I Fighting his time towards these logs here. I like the setup you got coming in from Defender Spawn and from mid. The dash is through, but Dazzle welcomes him with open arms and a right click classic to clean him up. Aaron's able to take care of Dazzle. 2v2 is all that remains. Dre is good for one. Moose is good for one as well. ECJ. Oh, he can get it to half. Oh. All right. I thought for a moment. The falls on that guy, but no, he gets it to half. Lands one shot, looking to get the second. Continuing to tick away. Moose shows up, lands the shots. Luminosity, that's now three pistols in a row. For now, for Luminosity, you see a lean towards B. Nice shots out from Pure, though, and that's the difference. Like, we need map control here. Pure's not slowing down. No, Pure good for a second. And we asked who was going to be the spark, right? Who well, who was it going to be that could change the pace of things so far? It's been pure. Zek and able to get the second. The flash keeps him alive for just a moment. But Tig shows up and cleans him up. Proto's good for it as well. Even the early lead that they had is now being essentially eradicated by the gun difference that, oh. that Luminosity were able to bring into this oh, okay. round. Now Aaron's dropped as well. It's all on to BCJ once again. Has a classic, has no armor to his name. Oh my gosh, what? This round, I do like where death is positioned. Oh, what a huge opening here for Moose. And the fact that we're only a minute and 15 seconds into the round here, and the alarm bot's already out, Tig finds an opening towards B, death felt like B lines it back towards mid, and we saw this on the eco this time around. It Aaron. should be good. Aaron, oh, oh. that's unfortunate. Stop, stop. LG, they are going to take the site. BCJ makes his way to spawn. The spam, it's coming through, but the spike is going to go down. Oh, Zekin's there, but he's still playing across. Really, as Luminosity tie us up into a piece, and even in that round, Oh, that dark gonna tag. Oh no! Oh. The dark gives so much info. Pure is down to 17 help. Has to <laughs> oh, try to stay alive, and there's just no way. That alarm bot is still there. You can smoke past it, but oh. no, it looks like they want to go towards tree. A couple of kills have been created early on as Dazzle and the rest of Luminosity continue to push the matter, continue to try to work forward towards this A site. You've also got a proto in a great spot. He's working his way into wine. So they, this is an excellent setup for Luminosity here. Absolutely excellent. So many bullets getting spammed through the smoke at tree there. Well, Spike will go down. Yeah. Zekin, that's a beautiful response. And the jellies, the ultimate, is going to come out on the back of Sky. Should allow them to know everyone is in sight here. No, oh, the jellies were there, but the bullets from Zekin were not. As Tick's able to clean him up. Dazzle's good on to three. It's going to drop down to a 1v1. Spike continuing to tick away. Moose is going to have to get onto his horse. Uses the util to potentially see BCJ. Does not check that corner. BCJ lands the shots and gets the defuse. Exit take the lead. It's heavy. They drop it off with the Bible Seekers as well. And Luminosity just full send. They go. Dazzle holding W. Already gotten two. It's only three members that remain on the side of Exit. Here does have the Blade Storm. And here we see him. Creeping his way around the Cosmic Divide, waiting to see if he can work his way in through the cage. Spike did go down. Pure trying to get into spawn. Has a little bit of help as BCJ is there around the corner, but the chokehold that they have on this site, they're on site proper. They have B main as well. There's nobody working the flank, so they're going to have to take the fight to him. Zekin's good to trade one out. BCJ's going to drop, though, and the rest of Xset will follow. Luminosity take the Luminosity date of that situation. Oh, Pure. Does it? LG's plan there. You saw that they wanted to dodge around that alarm bot with that smoke, somehow make their way into market. That's beautiful for Dazzle. A nice response, and look, he's got full utility. Oh, and they apply pressure thin through tree at the exact same time, right? Like, you know you just lost someone mid, 
and you lose someone towards tree at the same time. The spike now starting to rotate back. You do have a little bit on oh, site as far as Pure goes. Pure good for one. Pure good for two. Looking oh, for the third. Oh, line him up and knock him down, baby. Pure gets four. Has the ace in front left. of him, but he's going to have to finish it. 11 HP to his name. He is able to reload. Has plenty of ammo to work with as well. Moves so close around it. No, it's BCJ who lands the shots. Exit take the lead. King their way along. They don't have a ton of weaponry. But for Exit, you do have Pure again. He's already gotten two, but a Proto Sheriff trades that out. Does trade it out and X LG, they should be able to get the spike down here. I say that. <laughs> but Moose is biding his time and this drone should actually make this plant a lot more challenging. Neural Sap coming out. They also have spike planted. A little bit of ultimates coming through as the spike does go down. Don't know that there's enough to really clear it out, so the lockdown's gonna go through. But a proto wasn't willing to give up an inch. Tig has barely an angle of some sort. One versus three. BCJ is low. Sure. His teammates are pinging the spike, Surely but... not, right? No. Okay. <laughs> sure. Luminosity as far as where you can go. The pop flash just on the other side of smoke. Dazzle, oh. we saw a couple of rounds ago. Willing to aggressively take space away. It's Dre who gets a couple as well. I like that from Dre as well. Continues to push forward, trying to get in a defender spawn. Tig creeping his way across the side. No, Aaron's there. Good for one. It's just two left on the side of Luminosity. As Pure gets a second with the Frenzy, no less. A Proto trades that out of 1v2. A Proto, 72 HP, no armor to his name, and 12 bullets to work with. He doesn't have the spike either, so he's going to have to either land the frags with 13 seconds left, or get to... 10 seconds left. Ten seconds left. God, we... <laughs> I'm holding my breath here, dog. I'm holding my breath. There it is. We're able He's about to have his hands full. Does have the ultimate, so maybe a Q off of that. And he swings That's out. Fine. Oh, he was good for one. But Dre's able to trade it out with that Guardian. Insane trade there. But look at your boy Dre's health. He's just barely limping right now. He does see the trip. It gets taken out. And the spike is delayed this outside a main. Oh, but Aaron gets taken out. Too much to look at. Pure is able to get two, not able to get the third. A proto sheriff once again is able to trade things out. Even with Luminosity not having a ton to work with, it drops down to a 2 2 of protos left alone. 60 health, no armor to work with. BCJ giving him a little something to think about. Now he does have the spike. He should be able to get it planted. But where does he go from there? Only five bullets to his name. Spike. At this point, he's gonna take the chance that it's towards the tree and the door, but he does get positioning the dog. What a rat. Oh, what a rat! Oh, the swing! Oh, what a oh, oh, two! Looking for the I third. No, Dre it. trades it right back. Beautiful display of utility. Oh, I'll swing off of that. Depth's good for one onto Dre. I know exactly. Neural Theft coming out as well. It's a 3v2 here. Oh, Spike still on the floor. Tig gets a second one, a 2v2. The they're, they're bringing this thing back, Potter. They are. They'll be able to close the door here and get the spike down. And depending on what kind of util Tig is working with, there we go. The stars are going to be placed. But oh, oh, he swings out. I don't know how he won that duel. He's barely he limping. Only 30 HP to his name. And Pure, he's going to try to speed this retake up. Pure has to go big here. Tig is weak. Proto's full of spike ticking away. You've got both members of Luminosity down low. The turret's gonna, or excuse me, the cam's gonna spot him. The cup crispy, any sort of info. They're going B. It's so fast. Your boy Dre's already into the site. Perfect. They've already, they've already made Killjoy use most of her util here. Yeah. And the Hunter's Fury's in play. Dre goes up top. Aaron rips him down from the sky. The Hunter's Fury, as you oh. mentioned, out from BCJ. His death gets one onto a Proto as well. Tig has made his way somehow, apart from everyone else. Towards the middle of the map, now you've got some mid presence as well as Tig is there, Dazzle is there as well. Tig no longer around, courtesy of Aaron. Pure gets one as well. And things just kind of fall apart for Exit. Desperately needed for the flash comes out. The cloud burst there as well to dash across a proto. I like the use of those cages there to give him a little bit of one way, a little bit of safety. And a proto. We talked about him in anchor situations, but Zekin flies across this screen with the jumping classic to clean him up. ECJ getting the spike down numbers heavily in favor of Xset as Tig and Dre are going to have to make some magic happen. That's an excellent start as Tig gets one. An excellent start. Two orbs on the back of Tig as well. Oh, but this double spam box. Ooh. Oh, Last crispy. Player. Tig left alone. BCJ cleans up the last two. 
X is starting to rotate over as well. Now you're feeling some of the pressure as they worked away oh. on the site. The flash comes out first, but a proto up close and personal. Gray gets one as well. A proto not able to get the second, the third of what would have been the round. And second trades that out. Numbers in favor of Luminosity. Dev caught oh, up no. for rotations, but Dazzle gives him the business left, right. Good night. Dev's out for the rest of the round. It's just on to second. 13 seconds left as well. Yeah, he's got the spike, but he's running into three members of Luminop. The deficit that they find themselves in means they have to win those rounds. And Zekin, not having any of it! Oh. Not able to get a second, but damn, was that close. So much damage as well, Tig. Just barely limp back, but... There's a bit of a hold here. The Seekers have come out. Okay, they're going. They're fully sending. The Flash is out. Moose and Dazzle have their hands full. We've talked about the anchors, oh. but can they do it? One! He's only got five HP, oh though! He gets the second! Oh my Holy God. smokes! Moose with three! No health to his name, leaving Aaron alone! He exit. You oh. see the dark coming out. A little bit of tag. Make you think about things. The damage is there. 16 health. To Aaron's name, 13 seconds left. He's gonna have to creep his way forward. He oh. missed the timing! Remaining. He's just down to one! Aaron wow. does it! A red ball clutch for exit! To get into mid. With, I mean, for free, really, relative ease. <laughs> well, really call it bluff, right? Drop the lockdown towards A. Drop the spike back. Dev gets another one across the middle of the map. There, there's no place that's safe for Luminosity right now, right? You've got market presence. You have mid presence. Oh, no! no! BCJ, good for it. But Dre up top. The thing is, did they waste too much time? Are they going to be able to get the spike down? Dre has to go an aggressive. Nice shots out from Dev to buy some space, to buy some time to get the spike down to 2v2. Dev has the Cosmic Divide to work with as well. Dazzle creeping his way forward. Down from it, heaven. He's been spotted. Lands the shots onto Dev. Doesn't seem to matter. It's just down to pure. Pure needed to be the spark, but can he do it again? Two members right above him. No. Dev. Second, down to six armor. Pure got tagged up as well. The Cosmic Divide is coming Ooh. out. Pure with the Blade Storm looking to go up top. Looks like he's going to pick up a weapon, Moose. Moose dancing around. They're just giving him a little bit of duck dive and dodge. And Aaron's the one who's able to land it. A dueling Cosmic Divide comes out as the Seekers. Dre following them up. He's able to get two. Pure backside. He's got a weapon, but he doesn't have any health as Dre gets four. Oh, he's so blind. Oh, no. Forget about being blind. You've got a Marshall bullet in your face. You ain't gonna see anything in a situation like that. Dazzle, looking to clean up here though, and does just that. Aaron still playing around down in hell. The spike has still not gone down yet. And through all of this chaos, they still have heaven control. You still see Dre up top with the op. BCJ managing to get the spike down. They have the Hunter Fury, but he's in such a brutal spot. He can't really play with it off of that. But, but there it is. I'm gonna eat my words. If BCJ says yes, I can invest it. Buy some time, Aaron. There, but Dev, Dev on the flank! Dev on Dev. the flank! It's no, but it's Aaron! Aaron who gets three! Dazzles up, not able to land the shot! Sight, but the Dev. fact that Dev was just biding his time on the lurk, it allowed his sight... Literally, Dev is standing on Take flight right now, so it, it feels like they do want to go back towards B. The alarm bell was recalled. Oh, Moose, good for one. Moose not able to land a second. Pure continues to push forward. The Vandal singing true there. Is he deceiving? Yeah. It's fake. fake. It's exactly. It's deceit. But Dazzle now knows. All right. Forget everything that's going over there. We feel this presence. We feel the spike. Def's able to get the shots onto Dazzle. Now we see you, boy Dre, starting to rotate over. But is there going to be enough time? Right? The spike creeping its way forward. Dre might get oh, the this timing. timing. Potter, Dre Last might get the timing. Oh, no, he spots Def. Look at him. Dip. Pure is going to drop as well. Dre going to grab the Dre from up top. 49 HP on Aaron. Dre's going to stick it. My gosh. Dre looks like he gets it to half. The cloud burst, the tap. Forcing Aaron's hand as Aaron swings through. Aaron comes out from the side. Clean. Off of that, they go B. They drop up the sage wall and ropes. They take heaven. And the thing is, it's all going to be off the timing of death. As death creeps forward, as he takes some of that space away, they can fully complete on the hype. Dazzle, Dazzle with an excellent flash. No pure. Cleans that up. And now it's Tego shown up Spike with the proto. Down. Backing off. Huge for him. But again, things have just slowed down the spike. It hasn't even been planted. Actually, in fact, it's been dropped. Oh, no, Tig! Whoa. A proto's there. He shows up. It looks like they were trying to flank around, buy some time to get the kills. But they it may have gotten more than they bargained for. Yeah, Luminosity. I'm trying to wrap around and get those two kills heaven. Unexpected, yeah, but it didn't pay off. It didn't pay off. And it's...
the calm it's a good play yeah. i can't lie it's a good play but the fact that lg was so perfectly ready for that <laughs> the sound cue came up and that frenzy kill all, all, near hell that was everything for lg now talk about everything for lg this round has seemed to be everything for xset as they came in with nothing the... they've upgraded weapons all over the place and they've just kind of wiped the floor with luminosity it's just down to a proto here aaron's got his position it's going to be communicated to the team and he doesn't, he just has nothing to work with. He's going to have to go full on Hercules to make this happen. Exit is towards B here. Zekin's gone in and Zekin's arrived. Your boy Dre's already been cleaned out. Tig once again playing through his utility. Oh! Good for two. Looking to get three. No, Dev cleans that up. The spike does drop though. You see the Viper's Pit has come out from Aaron to, to, to really like fend off any sort of additional attempt. Provide a little bit of cover as Def gets the spike down. Ow, it didn't go down again. Exit. Something has delayed the spike going down early into the round twice now. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite them. Zekin, he's only got a spectre to his name and look at a proto. And a cosmic divide to work with. This is going to be brutal, oh. but you're right. Look at a proto. Look at a proto. No, he's just so weak there. When you get into the Viper's Pit, you're so dang weak. Def is playing right on that cosmic divide. Just two members remaining. You've got Dazzle and Moose. They're going to be coming in from different sides as well. Try to split the attention of the remaining members, but it's not working. Dazzle's been cleaned up. Moose to one HP. Has to come out to grab a breath. Are they going to be waiting for it? Oh, okay. The spam. Eh, it's not going to happen. Moose, for a moment. Thought maybe, but he's going to be able to carry that rifle into the next round. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, You're right. That cast. It's a hard hit that way. You see Moose invest the Viper's Pit right off the bat of that. So now, I mean, <laughs> it looked like it was just a, a, a ruse anyway. As they wanted to lean elsewhere, Crispy shots out from Def to continue to open up the map. Good. But you still have Def mid. The thing oh. Dazzle invested the, the Trailblazer towards B, so they should have a really good idea of where they're coming from, and they're pushing into the Viper's Pit, as you mentioned. That's so devastating to work your way through, but somehow they managed to get their keep an eye on Def. He's going to have to deal with some util. Aaron looking to get the spike down. He does just that. Oh, Def's been spotted. The tripwire's there. They're going to give up his position. Pure not able to land those shots onto Dazzle. Crispy out of him to give them the numbers advantage. Jelly's being traded back. But Zekin... He's biding his time. He's also got paint shells right now. If he's able to survive, oh, but Moose, One he's so remaining. aware. Checking his back, checking the flank. Zekin gets taken out. It's all down to death. It's not even planted for him. That's a beautiful shot. And they do have some players limping, but that's a full stick. That's a diffuse. So, and, and here's the thing, right? He got spotted by that trip. We've got a judge out on play here. Oh, so, baby. Of much towards A. Oh, but just breaking the... Breaking the trip in itself, cutting noise, and yeah. doubling back towards B Heaven. This could be the play, but as I say that, all the defenders, three here, and the judge, it's in hell right here, Doug. The He's so blind! There, the oh my is there. god! How is he still alive? How is he still alive? He's not able to get one, but Pure does all of the damage. As he's left alone, though, in this 1v3, he's got 75 health, no armor to his name. He does have left. the spike. He has some time to work with. But no, oh, he's been... Of information, but... Whew, this is a B-pop. There it is. Oh, oh but the gravity well. He somehow lands a shot with the showstopper anyway. Moose, though. Oh, oh good for two. The cosmic divide buys him a little bit more time. You, He's got one HP. Potter, you look at him funny and he dies right now. He does just that. A proto able to trade him out, though. The spike is spike down. down. Aaron's going to have to creep B. his way forward. Still has the cover the of the cosmic divide, but the neural theft could be problematic. You still have Def alive, too. He's creeping his way back towards the site. Still have some cover from the wall. The trope. Oh, my gosh! Player standing. Filthy! But Dazzle returns it right back, leaving Aaron alone. A 1v2! Not able to land the shots. Dazzle cleans him up. We're in. The camera should have given some info as well. Now you see the rotation starting to come through, but Exet knocking at the door. Will Moose open up? BCJ has been cleaned up. Tig gets one as well. The Cosmic Divide coming out to buy a little bit more time as the spike is on the floor. Tig, Tig looking oh, to do no. a little bit of a proto, and he does it. He's good for three. Def gets cleaned up as well as Tig gets four. Room control. They do, but the thing is, Luminosity, like, they have such a stranglehold on B. You see it. Dre's good for one. The Seekers have come out, but Tig's able to get one onto Pure as well. He's still playing down sight. He's gonna get a shot at more! There it is! Tig good for another. BCJ trades it out. The remaining members of Luminosity have now arrived. Both Dazzle and a Proto joining the action as BCJ gets a spike down to 2v2 here straight up. No ultimates to worry about. It's just gonna be... 
gunplay and perhaps a little bit of util as well. Yeah, and you know Def, he got all the noise cues that he wanted, and so now he's in the forward position in spawn. They've got a decent crossfire with BCJ, but he's all alone if he peeks deep right like that. Yep. Now it's all down to Def. One versus two, the spike, it's not even planted for him. No flashes for Dazzle. Oh Def no. Has to swing out! Def not able to land a shot, and a Proto swings out, challenges Nick and Quarter. Uh, of this first half, you see the Viper Spit has been used mid map, <laughs> and Zek and going full send wow. with the judge, cleans that out of his hand and equalizing things, and he's good you for did. it. He is indeed. Peeks out, deals the damage, goes right back into safety. The spike starting to rotate towards A. You hear the secrets you can use. That your boy Dre with the operator back sight. Zekin's getting space on him and he's good for it. The sight, left. it should be X sets here. And that's where we see that the gravity well was just a second late, right? For Zekin to be able to get across. Yeah, the rest of the folks were gathered up, but it, uh, that's all it really was. Now Zekin with the op, able to get a third on the round onto Tig. Numbers advantage heavily in yeah. favor of X set. It's just down to Dazzle and a proto and pure. Looking to make sure that's all it was. Drops as Dazzle cleans him up a 3v2. Aaron back in the same spot where his teammate was, Zekin with the showstopper, no need, as the damage comes in, way up there, I don't think Exit were convinced that that was a hit, BCJ rotated back towards B, now he's gonna pull back as the spike has gone down on A, so their suspicions were confirmed, Luminosity gets the spike down, and they have some sight control, they have some heaven control as well, this is gonna be brutal for them to take oh. back, a proto good for one, a proto make that, there. he's good for two, Looking for more! Yeah, baby, he gets three. And he's not done quite yet. He only has 39 HP to his name. Spike continuing to tick away. Tags up another. A Proto's just been a man possessed in this round as he's continuing to cause damage. Maybe not with his gun, with the util. They're leaving it down to him. A Proto wow. gets four. That sort of second guess, he comes into play. Death, that's a beautiful shot to start things off. We've busted economy in situations like this a number of times in this series. Xset lose the pistol, they somehow find their way to make it happen. This is an excellent start. Now note Pure oh, has oh. Pure has a shorty, Pure has a shorty! BCJ was good for one though. Some util, yeah, you can flash off of that, but... Oh no! The paint shell is just barely missing that yeah. instance. It absolutely could have been everything for these Xset guys in this retake. But they slow down once more. They do have the man advantage, but just a frenzy and barely any utility here. And, and so this is what I'm getting at. Look at the, how they're set up off of that Viper's Wall. The members of Luminosity, it's almost like a straight line, forcing them to swing out and look both ways. Def good for one. Oh! Def is good for one as well. Whoa! Moon has to make it all happen, and no, he's not. Economy. Sure, raises in heaven. Maybe a crossfire can happen, but there's going to be so much pressure on Sage's back here. BCJ is going to have to go big. No, he's not able to really get anything. I, I like how a Proto's playing mid-map as well. Cut off any sort of rotations. Now he's going to be able to get up towards heaven. Spike still hasn't been planted. Now it's going to go down, courtesy of Tig. Aaron, looking to see if you can get any info. You do still have the Neural Theft from a Proto as well. This is going to be spicy, Potter. Four on four. You still have guns all over the place. And all four members are coming out to spawn. The bird Whoa. should do something, but it doesn't. Your boy, Dre, he's good for it. Does take out Zekin. They've made it out into spawn. Pure. He's good for one, but Tig responds. No shot. Aaron's able to get one as well. Aaron looking to get the tap. A proto with the neural theft. A 1v2. Oh. Aaron, no freaking Whoa. way. Oh, he pulls off into the last second. Gets one. He's going to get the defuse as well. Aaron. That is coming out into play. Potter predicting things yet again. Pure going in aggressive. Dazzle able to clean him oh, up. But DCJ from down low. Able to get one of his own on to Dre. Aaron gets in on the action as well. His kills are for just being traded back and forth. You look at the kill feed. It's just left, right, left, right. The spike is down on the site. Two members remain for both teams. Luminosity should be able to get the spike down. Deputy's just, just the pixel of a player. And now he knows where Aaron is. Or Moose, excuse me, I'm sorry, Moose, as he gets the Viper's pit down. Zekin oh, going Zekin again. going in! And it looks oh, the blue fun Gorgeous! Oh, that's gorgeous! It's just leaving what? Moose alone! He's got nine bullets, but he does have the safety of his Viper's pit. So he can play around that and potentially make something happen. I like this push. I like the repositioning. Mm -hmm. The nine bullets, it, it, I think it's gonna come into play here. That's Go. all you need though. Oh, all you need, down to five bullets, and there it is! Moose gets two! Done with four.
Speaking of Viper's Pits, we have another one coming out from Exit across the middle of the map, but Luminosity <laughs> don't seem to be concerned in the slightest, as they've made their intentions very clear. They want to go towards A. Exit welcomes them by getting two of their own proto trades back. There is not a whole lot of room for Luminosity to work with here. They don't have Heaven Control. They don't have Sight Control. Oh, okay, forget it. Forget it. A proto I shown up. Exactly they have Heaven it. Control, and they're going to have the Neural Theft come through as well. Def good for one. Spike down with an Operator, or maybe it was on the back left. of Def. I don't remember yeah, was, exactly, but... There's no post plants that Moose can deal with. They don't have any util, so it's just going to have to be the gunfight. Pure... Half? But that's it. A proto good for four... To the zero of Luminosity. Dre already good for one. A proto's good for one as well. The guy just doesn't stop. These trades, they're coming so fast into the round. Your boy, oh, dude, it looks like a proto's just going to beeline it straight towards B. Death. He's the only defender here. Uh -oh. Okay. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. left in the round. Oh, BCJ. Oh, BCJ! Oh, you mentioned it! BCJ gets two, but that's it. A Proto's able to trade that out, but he's left in a 1v3. He's back into comfy territory. He's back on A. We've talked about his heroics on this site. He's going to have to do it again. 13 seconds left. Still has to get the spike down. Okay, Ten whoa! Seconds left. He's, he still, still should have time. All right, he's still going to be able to get the spike down, but look at the challenge. They're just full B hopping across. Aaron's the one who lands the shots. This is interesting. X that don't break the trip, as you see, but they're all over-rotating. Second, going aggressive. Look at him scattering. Like roaches, they just scatter all over the place. As you hear the sound of the showstopper coming out, they run for the fences. They manage to stay alive. But here's the thing. Kill, great. But the space was taken back. Oh, and that allows Second to do that! Second. That allows Second to do exactly that! He gets two, not able to get the third, but BCJ can. Wall goes managed to get to map point to series base there. Yes, sir. I think that's def that this is a bluff. Oh. <laughs> Tig, he's got to be good for the screens kill. As pure kind of jiggles, oh, the information is through! The he timing. gets Cypher down. Oh, and Jet, perfect timing on the dash. The spike is not going to go down. What? Oh, Tig, the readjustment! No remaining. shot! Ten seconds left. BCJ and Pure are able to bring oh. it back. Pure again.